finally here. Took so long from the airport. I'm so tired and hungry and I don't know. It was bad. And the well, I saw so many cockroaches already in a hotel like like this. I've never seen a cockroach before in my life, so I, I'm scared. And then also the air quality is so bad. Like it looks like there's a fog. I don't know. Also never seen that in my life, so yeah, that's the first two things I noticed. But we're in the hotel now. It's called Kaya Heritage Hotel. Here's what it looks. So we have a dark bed, I don't know why. And then we have a double bed. On this side there's like this mini mirror and a TV and then here's the bathroom. Very pretty. And then the shower. And I don't know. Some kind of Okay, the view is pretty bad. But it's okay. And this door leads to where? Ah, the aircon balcony. So yeah, that's the room. There's a little mini pool downstairs. And yeah, I'm gonna unpack a little and then let's see, maybe we're going for the dinner. The auntie wanted to go to the, I don't know what it's called, like the stripper restaurant. I don't know why they want to do that because it's gonna be so uncomfortable, but if they wanna go, we go. <laughs> went to 7-eleven and we got some snacks so I've heard that the 7-eleven here is actually great like almost as nice as the 7-eleven in Japan so um, yeah we didn't we're gonna have a full meal there I'm, I promise you but um, we didn't today we just got some snacks it's quite late now it's almost 12 so I think we're gonna sleep now and then tomorrow we have big plans I think but Ogun, I can see him um, going on the river, I don't know. The others planned it, so let's see. But I think we have a lot planned, so let's sleep. Somehow I was a little disappointed because I expected it to be like bigger and uh, I don't know. The temples in Penang, they were so pretty and so impressive and so big and this one is kind of like, you can walk around it like once in the bottom and then that's it. And everyone just come here to take pictures. But I mean, it's, it's not ugly but I'm not impressed. You like it? Yes. Just like, there's just like one square to walk around here and then that's it. <laughs>
we just had our first uh, pad thai, which was so great. And the coconut was also so good. The mango sticker, as I am not a super hardcore fan of it, because I just don't know why you would eat rice with a mango, because I don't know. If I want to eat a mango, I don't want rice, so. But the others liked it a lot. Now we're going to the Grand Palace, which is like right next to here. It's like right here. I cannot see because it's too bright. But yeah, let's go. We are at the Grand Palace now. It's super crowded, but it's so nice. And the family somehow they didn't want to come. I don't know why, because they miss out. We got a Thai milk tea and a lemonade and it's so good. But yeah, since the others didn't do anything, they now need to rush to the food and I'm dying. Overheat. You try this, it's so good. Again, we are at ICS Mall. I'm very excited. Okay, so we were in the mall most of the day and then um, we went to have a foot massage which was quite nice. It was a foot and head massage so 
I don't really like when people touch my head, so I didn't enjoy that one, but the food massage was quite nice. And super cheap, so I hope we can get another um, massage in Phuket, maybe like a Thai one. But yeah, we're back at the hotel. Gonna sleep soon because tomorrow morning we want to go um, to the dragon temple really early, so no one wanted to join, so just me and the boyfriend are going, but... Um, I think so we're aiming to get up at 7 so I hope we can do that so yeah we're gonna sleep soon I wanted to try these I initially somehow I thought this is something sugar glaze but it's actually like easy like bouncy I don't know oh mm. it's not bad but, but the outside is like a hard jelly. I don't know how to explain. So it's like a very thick kind of hard jelly. So I can squish it like this, but I don't know. The inside is nice though. It's like a bean. Mm -hmm. Let me try another shape. No. Hmm. No. I start to quite like it. Okay, then let's see when we wake up tomorrow. No one here. The smoothest star sitting with the wind. Tune in for Mimi. up in the inside but it's very cool they keep asking you for money but we already like we didn't have any coins so we gave the lady at the entrance like a lot of money already so um, so we gave them like a bigger bill because we didn't have any money and they kept asking us for money but we just didn't give them any more money so I hope that's fine I don't know, I, I don't want to be rude to them, but at the same time, I don't know because everyone say people will scam you here and ask you for money the whole time, so I'm a little scared, but I also don't want to be rude, but yeah, I hope it's fine. Now I want to go to the coffee, it's called After the Rain, and supposed to be very pretty so I'm excited to go there already and I hope our driver is still here little birds jumping out the nest Never gonna fly, but staying high in this unknown. 
timid stars waiting for the after hours painting with the light showing every night this unknown winter falls just as spring to summer's call and we do that we're just human after Sun or snow, all the life it seems to know. And all we have is just part of how it goes, how it goes. This I know. We are at Central World Mall and we're getting boat noodles, but we're queuing. But can choose already. Is it? It's called Thomasy. Which one you want, person? Wow, that looks very good. So boat noodles are just like I think a mixed dish, like with a soup. And it's called boat noodles because it used to be served on like boats, so that's why. So they usually have some pork and meatball inside, apparently. Sweet like gelato, they go shape of Valentino. Rockin' on a high note, got a love in this soprano. No man, I go not so dirty, no Chiana, but Pato. Daddy, no, you're not so no. Cause you're the one and only girl. Promise, I ain't tryna play games with ya, girl. Honest, you are not a side character. Every day after day, I tryna go out my way. So what does it cut do? back quite tired because like we went to three more malls so yesterday we went to the icon Sion, which is probably most famous mall and today we went to the dragon temple and the cafe alone and then we met up with the aunties and we went to three more temples so not temples three more malls so the first one was also like really um, high-end, um, expensive stuff. More like, it's more like a bunch of showrooms in a sense. Like there's just very expensive stuff everywhere, and you cannot really like do shopping because you, I mean, as normal people, you cannot buy like a bunch of things at these malls because it's just too expensive. And then second mall we went everything is super cheap like um i have a few clips i think you saw a few clips like it's like i don't know those chinese markets like fake designer bags and 
like a lot a bunch of like poor very poor quality clothing so I don't know I was kind of like the others told us it's like a norm, more approachable mall but I was kind of expecting like like normal shops I don't know like but on the cheaper end like H&M Zara and all that jazz but I don't know it's just it was very um, weird. I've never seen something like this in, in my life. Um, yeah, and then the third mall. Very expensive shops and also like a lot of cars like uh, Bentley, Tesla, Mini, stuff like that. But all three really, really cool, really interesting. Ah, I wanted to show you what I got. So uh, I just got two um, books. So I've I've never heard of either one of these. They're not on my to be read list, um, honestly, but I just wanted something small, something like a little lighter and compact that I can bring in my bag because I'm currently reading this and this is so huge. It doesn't fit in my handbag. Like it's, I think, 800, 900 pages and it's just huge. So. I got this one, which is like very much smaller. And then I also got this one because it looked very cute and interesting. Like, I think this is gonna be a very light, funny um, book. Like, even though it's like about a murder. And this one, um, I think it's gonna be very interesting. It sounds very, very interesting. So, I'm gonna have a go at that one too, like on the go. Um, yeah, and that's actually all I got already. We're gonna go to another mall, no, market tomorrow. So they wanna go shopping again and um, I don't know actually. I have a few like coffee shops pinned on my like uh, list and then I wanted to go to the ancient city but I think that's more of like a day trip so I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow, so let's see.
we are back from um, dinner and since this is our last day I wanted to uh, tell you my final thoughts on Bangkok a bit uh, but before let me show you what we bought today okay so first up we bought a bunch of snacks that we want to try maybe I'll just do a separate TikTok video on this because I'm not so good at reviewing snacks and if I do it in a long video it's a little bit boring I think so this is what we got we got some both and then we got this because my boyfriend's sister said like Ed Sheeran bought it or something <laughs> I don't know exactly and we got um, salted egg salmon skin and this one is pork and then we got some chips oh no this is like a bean dried bean i don't know if it's a chip or i don't know exactly and then we got some squid uh, chili lace so we got some salted egg chips we got some uh, rice cracker because we always get these in germany but these are like four euros in germany and yeah that's it for the snacks i think oh no there's a, there's another salted egg okay and then we got some like little trinkets we got two of these little bags they're super cute and they were very uh cheap but we just got them to wear them like this or like I think that's that's how they did it, like like this. And they're super, they were super cheap and they're super cute. So we got two of those, and then we got, which is also super cute. Like I saw something similar, like this and this in uh, London, and like it was super expensive. So this was quite cheap. 250 baht so we got it as a gift for my brother's girlfriend and then we also got some of these little elephants i love them i wanted to buy them all we got some uh, fishes and i think a horse for my aunt and my cousin because my aunt is watching our dogs and they have a horse and these are just so cute. I wanted to get all of them. And then this is these are some spoons and some chopsticks. I don't know. Wait, let me open. Okay, these are some spoons and some chopsticks. They're very pretty. And yeah, we just love to eat with these wooden spoons, but at home we somehow cannot find it in Germany. And then we bought some cheap ones, I think, of Amazon, and they broke, broke like, really quickly, and they were just very bad. So, got these, and then I also got these rings. That's everything we got. I'm really happy. This was all really cheap, like, crazy cheap. And I could have bought so much more at the market, because it was just really, really nice. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you my thoughts about Bangkok because a lot of my friends uh, went here and told me they didn't particularly like it but I actually loved it so I wasn't expecting that so I'm really really happy and now I'm a little more excited for Phuket and Chiang Mai I'm still a little scared of Phuket but we'll see I bet it will also be very nice actually so there's uh, like a few things I wanted to talk about. So first thing is the safety. So a lot of people and like in my surroundings and also in on the internet told me that um, Thailand is very like dangerous because there's scammers, there's a lot of like general criminals and thieves and um, honestly, I felt super super safe the whole time we were here. The people were super nice and kind to us. No one tried to scam us or anything. So 
yeah, I'm just really, really happy. We didn't have any bad experiences at all. Um, it was a really nice day and no complaints here. <laughs> the second thing I wanted to talk about is the people. So originally I had thought that there would be way more tourists than there actually are. Like there are a lot of tourists, but not as bad as I was expecting. Like Japan, for example, was, was way worse. Um, I don't know, maybe because we did fewer like temples, but yeah, not bad at all for me personally. Then the other thing that I noticed when um, thinking out about the people here is that the language barrier is quite big. Like a lot of people don't speak English, which like I knew. I also knew that the like the writing is different, but somehow it didn't like reach my brain somehow. Uh, because in Malaysia like everyone speaks English and you can read everything, everything is in English. So I hadn't really thought about that but there's like a lot of stuff that you cannot read and most of the people here don't speak English at all. Some other things I wanted to talk about are the smog which I didn't expect like maybe bring a mask because the air quality is like really bad. I don't know why, but it's just really, really bad. Um, might also be because there's like a lot of traffic. We were stuck in traffic quite often. So again, the only other uh, country that I can compare, like Southeast Asian country I can compare with is um, Malaysia. And in Malaysia, the traffic is not that bad. The air quality is not that bad. People speak English. And so these were all like kind of little things that caught me a little bit off guard um, so the traffic was really really bad from time to time but I think you can um, if you want like if it's not a big thing for you you can um, rent a scooter you can um, grab a scooter like hop on someone else's scooter and they will bring you somewhere you can use the like the trains and everything um, but I mean, I just chose, personally chose to grab because I'm scared of scooters and the trains. I don't want to go in the train because there were a lot of people. So I chose that for me and I just want to mention it because um, I didn't expect it. All in all, I really, really enjoyed it and I can't wait to come back here. So tomorrow we're gonna fly to Phuket. My reference family is gonna fly back home. So. I guess we'll see you in Phuket.